has been probably one of the worst days of my life. Water in there, water all over the floor. <laughs> Right now we are in the warm antique mood. Sunday! Sunday! Oh, Maurice, Maurice, Maurice. Maurice. It's like National Geographic, but it's live. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Wow! Setting of course. Hello. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Marius. Nous arrive à la France. I don't know if that's correct, but what I tried to say was that we have arrived. In France. in France! Wow! What does that mean? We have to put the French guest flag up. So why do we do this? It's a combination of respect and law. An unwritten law, yeah. I think. Maybe it's written as well, I don't know actually. I don't know the French national anthem. Can you sing it? Voila! Okay, Philip, you just came and watch. What has happened tonight? Well, it has been uh, not only one of the worst days on the trip, but also probably one of the worst days of my life because I haven't slept a damn second. And when I'm like this close to falling asleep and something wakes me up, I then get angry, then I get hot, then I get nauseous, that everything just gets 10 times worse. I puked up like half of the dinner we ate. Right after that, I ate an apple. I puked up the apple too. I don't have anything in my stomach. I'm afraid of eating right now because I'm just afraid of going to sleep again and then getting nauseous again and puking again. So I'm just sitting here and absolutely hating my life right now. Um, this is what the boat looks like, guys. Water in there. Water in there. Water all over the floor. Water from every window. This really sucks. Yeah, you're gonna see sick. Philip is sleeping. I'm a little seasick. I don't know much about electricity, but I know that water and electricity do not mix. And all of these pillows are wet. So it just come from above. Not only do we have water over there where the batteries are, also have a lot of water here. Great! Other than that, it's it's fine. Have you puked? Uh, yesterday I did. Yesterday. Well, actually tonight. Yeah. I think. It just came. I don't know where. Yeah, in the, right, in in the, the kitchen sink. sink. The kitchen yeah. Sink. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. This might be a little bit insane to say, but I kind of enjoy this. As long as I've slept good, as long as I'm warm, as long as I'm not sick, then I can enjoy this. It is rough. It's just you feel alive. You feel the waves like hit the boat and hit your face. I still feel sorry for Philip, but I mean, it, it's cool. It took us four hours from we made the decision to go to shore till we arrived. And it was such a relief when we finally got into port. Get some food in the fucking stomach. That's the plan. Yeah, good plan. What did you say? I have salt everywhere. But also, guys, uh, we just found out that we lost our flag. So we're not Norwegians anymore. We lost our passports, uh, <laughs> our healthcare, 
Yeah, pretty much everything. So, but now number one priority was that Philip needs to anchor drum. Anchor drum. Okay, I will explain anchor drum. It's traditional thing. I think it's worldwide. So we say skull. For that the anchor is going to sit as some. Beep. Yeah. Beep. Bro, I'm actually gonna puke. Bro, reason? Oh, it wasn't that bad. Three? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. Okay, so what happened? What what happened today? That was that was three. Okay. I'm not gonna drink that. Bad luck if you don't take it. So what happened today? We lost our flag, our wind uh, shit, our batteries, our inverter. And oh, because I didn't drink alcohol. That's yeah. my this explanation. Okay, I didn't say about it. Can you please confirm this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thing I was gonna say. The three last things I've eaten, I've thrown up. Pretty much half of yesterday's dinner, I threw up an apple right after that. And then today I threw up two uh, knick bread. So yeah, knick bread. Uh, hopefully, since we're now actually s stationary, I hopefully can eat without puking. What's up, Beck? Trying to open the inverter, but it doesn't work. I can't get it open. Oh, and there's no more screws to unscrew. You can unscrew my screws. You can screw yourself. <laughs> okay, so what happened is yesterday we were healing a whole lot, like 90 degrees. Yeah, no, but we were actually we were healing a whole lot. The windows uh, on the side they are leaking, so salt water comes through there, goes through the pillows, and then goes to the batteries and the inverter. And today we're trying to fix that. So now we have to cover or. Fix the leaks on all the windows, even the ones that can't be opened. The truth of the hour. Okay, so what do we see here, Jürgen Beck? I don't know. I've never seen it before. <laughs> it looks like a lot of technical shit, but it looks clean. Yeah, it doesn't look damaged. Well, it's not wet. <laughs> yeah, because I know what wet looks like, and this ain't it. <laughs> What's up, bro, man? I'm trying to fix the leak on the windows, so I'm using a silicone to hopefully make it tight, so that no water comes through. And what are you doing, man, bro? I'm uh, reading different forums on how to how to fix the bow thruster. It's not working. It has a power, but it's not working. So something ain't right. Hold up! Wait a minute. Something ain't right. So yeah, it's working day here on the boat in Fekin. Then, pretty much out of nowhere, in the middle of our working day, we suddenly had three French guys on board. When you think about that, the goal in life is not making a lot of money. The real goal for me, at least, should be to learn something that you believe in 100% to uh, your sons. And I was thinking about this adventure. And um, when parents tell their sons, you need to follow your dreams, be open-minded, the world is big. And there is a huge difference between saying that because you learn it from your father and saying that to your son because you experience it on your skin and i was thinking about you guys telling it to your sons and just that stuff it's the thing that touched me the most the, it's beautiful Really? 10 or 20 Amazing. Amazing. You gotta tell me what happened. What happened? Like, what, who are you guys? <laughs> Why? How who, are are you guys? who are you guys? Who are you guys? <laughs> no, basically we were just on on here. We, we spent the day in this beautiful city in Fécamp. Yes, yeah, we, we are, are from, from Paris. Paris and so we came last night. How, how like, we, we were very drunk. <laughs> okay, we, 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 we do a big party in his house. We're not supposed to say that. We're not supposed no, to say no, that. No, I know, but it's, it's on YouTube. It's okay. And after we take the car, we're very drunk. I was the driver. He was the driver. He was responsible of that, okay? So you have to... So you have to... to I my my face. So we arrive at 6 in the morning. We slept for 3 hours and after we, we decided just to have a coffee and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> and we see the boat, we see sailing off course and we say, okay, we're going to send a message on Instagram and here we are. Yeah. And we say, <laughs> where are you? Hey, where sailing! Are you? Off course, sailing! And now we're suddenly going to barbecue with them tonight and drink beers in one of his two houses. <laughs> <laughs> One of the three houses. <laughs> Maybe one day you will see the castle, but not for the moment. But we, we, we don't have a boat. The yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the point. We have three houses, we have a boat. It's fair, it's fair. See you later, See guys. you. Bye. See you. And that is exactly why we sail around the world, exactly. to meet guys like this. Yeah. When I was shouting, it was like... 
Oh, fuck. Yeah. People. Uh, I saw the DM and I was like, oh, I, I can't deal with that right now. I gotta sit and work. Mm. And Jergen was like, yo, guys, did you see the DM? We gotta invite those guys. I was like, yeah, yeah. He was literally like, this is on you. Yeah. <laughs> this, I don't have anything to do with this. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but then they were the coolest guys we could have ever met. So I think we've learned a lot valuable lesson. Yeah, we're we have. always gonna say hi to new people. Says the guy always that hates new people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nice! <laughs> pop it, pop it, pop it! Shower. <laughs> Local French apple cider, what do you think? Let's go. It was really good. Oh, what do you think? Wow. Ich will skal vi miste de. Ich will, ich will skal vi miste de. Perfect! Yeah, ich man! Will skal miste de. <laughs> What is going on? I have to try to see. Just try sneaking the knife inside. Okay. Little did we know that three hours after some French guys waved at us on the harbor, we're going to be here in this house. <laughs> With these romantic lights. Typical French. Typical, Typical French. With, yeah, with a glass of wine. <laughs> we are just talking about poesy. You know? Love. <laughs> right now we are in a romantic mood. C'est très romantique. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> putain. I'm just in love about the... What's the name in English of this? Candle. candle. Candles. I'm just in love about candles. It's so romantic. It's just amazing. <laughs> Marius went to the fish market today. He didn't tell us what he got. But he said, I have some good things for you. Hey Marius, what did you bring? What did you buy? I bought some oysters. Oysters? Yeah. That's not the last thing. That's not the last surprise. No, it is. I am looking forward. Actually, I'm really stoked to, to try this. Here you are. This is the most like intense uh, seafood. Yeah. You can get. Okay. But I love uh, seafood. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if I like. Uh, you haven't tasted it before you either. No. Nobody else. <laughs> Nobody else was, uh, on the boat. Okay, let's go. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. go. Let's go. Sante. This shit is really strange. I love it. I love it. <laughs> How would you rate the oyster? <laughs> Out of ten? Yeah. Seven. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's I think good. it was. I think it was good. Hey. Yeah. Nine. Like uh, nine. <laughs> nine. <laughs> oh, nine. Look at this, look at this, look at it, mamma mia! Que c'est bon! Just eat, just go with your hands and eat. Look at those kind of, look at this fish. Uh, look at those there is salt, amazing. Uh, olive oil and pepper. So, I hope you wash your hands. <laughs> because I did not. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Très bon? Excellent. Quand ta peur, je tremble aussi. Then, all of a sudden, Marius brought out his second surprise for the evening. Whoa. Why, why? What the? <laughs> of course, Marius has been buying this. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is such a Marius thing to buy. Have you tried SNES before? No, this is my first time. Uh, no, but uh, let's try. Let's go. Let me see. Score. Dude, that was amazing. Oh, yeah. When we were anchored up in the Kiel Canal, we met a Dutch family. They wanted to help us out. We showed them our tattoo, because we've taken a tattoo on our leg. And they were like, hey, you should make a fake tattoo that other people can take on their arm or their feet or whatever. <laughs> you are genius. You guys are genius. What he said was like, hey, I want to help you out to get your name spread wherever it is. So what we've done is that we've contacted a company that does this and we've had some fake tattoos no. that we want you to take if you want. No, but of I, of course! Of course! Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So, That's amazing! Yeah. Okay, okay. Just scrub it yeah. 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 For China. It just went uh, for it. <laughs> it for it. Uh, it's amazing yeah. to participate to your team. Of course, two. but I'm just yeah. thinking yeah. about Hey, it's perfect! <laughs> oh, of course, man! <laughs> this is the story of Of Course by Tail Fun.
I am story to tell you. Okay, it's okay. four guys. Okay. They are walking around the road with a boat, a small boat. They're not nothing but sailing. Yeah. But they are crazy. They have a dream and they want to go. Guys, you are totally crazy. Okay. I love it. You have to put some pirate spirit on this carol. You have a. Les gars, mec, c'est sublime! C'est incroyable! La 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 la! Chocolat! 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 Et puis on chocolat! Merci, chocolat! Oh la la! Cool! The evening became night and the cameras were put away. Then the night became a new day. Fuck you! What did you do, Marius? I, I can't remember what I did. <laughs> it hurts a lot. How did Marius end up in this situation, you may ask? Well, let me show you. Don't talk like this. Oh, hey, Marius, Marius, what's going on? Oui, 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 oui. Non, non, non. Be careful, be careful, Marius. Hey, Marius, Marius, Marius. Marius, d'ailleurs, hold on. Yeah. Okay. Do it. I'm ready. Let me explain this situation to you. We're all screaming in excitement over Marius's beautiful backflip, while Marius, on the other hand, is screaming in pain. Marius, Marius, Marius. <laughs> Jürgen went all first aid on Marius, and the next day, Marius went to the hospital to check his foot. We didn't find a taxi, so um, we had to ask some, someone on the streets with Google yeah. Translate, of yeah. course, because they didn't, didn't know any English. And so one guy said, ah, I will call the, the fireman. And there's come a fire truck, like a small one, with, uh, with sirens. What and there was driving with sirens to really? the hospital as well. Yeah. Really? He was driving past red lights and all, really? yeah, everything. What? Like, For real? I mean, and then they took X-ray and they found out it wasn't broken. So, and that's one for ten days. Ten days? Ten days. We started counting down the ten days while we said goodbye to our new French friends and moved further south. We went to Cherbourg, where we tried our anchor for the first time ever. Are you excited to take the anchor out for the first time ever trying to anchor in an anchorage in the world uh, premiere? Wow. In the uh, world, <laughs> world uh, tour? Yeah, sure. Just press. Just down. press? It yeah. drops it down. While I unanchor you, I'll tell you why. Because it's free. And whatever's free is a gift from God. <laughs> yeah. So if we're laying here for a couple of days, hey. we don't have to pay uh, the uh, marina fee. Which is great. We have life. Then we went to the Channel Island, Guernsey. We're on our way to Guernsey. Guernsey and Jersey, two islands in addition to another, some other few islands, uh, they are part of Britain. They're called the Channel Islands. And, uh, in the English canal. Yeah. And what we just found out was that here the time is 1620. The time on my Mac is 1720. Which means we change time zones. Whoa, our first time zone change. Out of 24. Actually, yeah. We're gonna have 24 time, time zone changes. Wait, when we come back, we're gonna have one extra day because we've traveled all around. Whoa! <laughs> Damn. That's right. Are you excited to be here, bro? Yeah, and I'm cold. This wind is cold, man. The fog is insane. And listen now. It only gets louder. <laughs> yeah, this is the talk, you lure. In good Norwegian. Fuck, it's insane high. What are you doing, Marius? I'm filling out the declaration papers. Declaration uh, of Independence. Report of arrival for pleasure craft. Bailwick of Jersey. Uh, because we're in a new country. Because we're in a new country. What happens if you don't fill out these papers? Huh? You get arrested and put in jail. You have to go to court and then you have to maybe flee from the court and then... They chop yeah. off your fingers. Hello, Mexico. Lot of <laughs> it says here in your passport, Jürgen, that you're gay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Right here. <laughs> See you guys later when this happens. See you guys later when this shit happens. Clip till. <laughs> oh my god, we gotta swim, bro. <laughs> no. Okay, good luck. Thank you. We quickly learned the hard way that putting the dinghy up on a dry beach is not a very good idea. 
when the difference between high and low tide is 11 meters. <laughs> then it was time to move once again. It's time to welcome you all to the Bay of Biscay. Wow. I mean, I don't even think about another girl, just the music now that you're gone. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I've been on a road playing lots of shows for the fans doing me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sometimes I still think about how... Oh, oh, bro! Oh! It's like National Geographic, but it's Woo! live. <laughs> hey! Huh? Oh! It's a fucking baby dolphin! That was yours. We were fine. But I closed the door. Then, our last stop in France was La Rochelle, where we met an old friend and enjoyed some good weather for a few days. That is all for our France vlog, and hey, subscribe to our channel to make sure that you don't miss our next vlog, where we finally reach some warmer temperatures in Spain. Toodles! Of course!